In this video, we're going to take a look at the Report tab within the App Forms Designer. So here I have opened up a form in Design View within the Designer that contains several controls related to both the customers and the orders sample tables within the Northwind database. When you click on the Reports tab, you'll notice that you're initially brought to the Data Source Report tab. And this tab contains a overview of the various data sources that you have configured for that particular form that you have open. So in this case, I have two data sources that have been configured and defined. One is to the customer's table and one is to the order's table. If you click on one of the data sources, so let's click the customer's data source, you'll see that the the data source itself is configured to look at the data from the dbo.customers table. And you'll also note that the display shows you the various commands that have been configured for that data source. So in this case, I've configured an insert command as well as a select command. Additionally, you'll see from this view that the information shown will show you any field mappings that you've configured between the fields from the database table and the controls on the form. So in this case, the postal code from the table is mapped to the TXT postal code control on my form. Customer ID field is mapped to TXT cust ID field, etc. Under the select uh, command, you see that we again have similar uh, field mappings, but we also, in this case, I've specified a criteria for the select command so that it would retrieve data for which has a customer ID that's uh, mapping to the particular, this TXT cust ID to retrieve field, uh, the value from that field. So this view will also provide you with any criteria mapping that's been defined for the, uh, for the command. We click the orders table again. You'll see similar information. I've got one command defined, and that's the select command. Again, you'll see the field mappings uh, as well as the criteria field mapping. Now, up above, you'll notice there are a couple of search filter fields. One is for control name, and the other is for data sources. If you drop the control name uh, drop down, you'll notice that there that it provides a listing of all the controls on the form. So let's say, for example, you wanted to find all of the references or all of the, um, the references in the data sources for this TXT cust ID to retrieve field. So if you click that, in this case, it's still showing the orders and the customers data sources. And that's because when you expand that, you'll notice that it highlights the row containing the reference to that. And so for both of these particular data sources, I have criteria that is referencing that particular field. If I were to pick a different field, say for example, TXT City, um, you'll notice that the orders data source has been filtered out. And it again highlights the row here where the TXT City control is mapped to the city field in the select and the insert commands. The other drop down is a data sources drop down where you can again filter to a particular data source. So in this case, there's only two, but if there were a number of different data sources that had been configured, uh, this might be helpful if you want to just be able to query one particular data source and, and not have it um, displaying all of them. Additionally, you can also utilize these in conjunction. So I could say, um, give me orders and then give me this field. And again, it's going to find that, um, sorry, that control rather, uh, reference from within that orders data source. The other report or the other tab that we have within the report tab is the, um, rules report. And this report contains a summary listing of all of the rules that have been defined within the form. You'll notice that there's an expansion uh, plus sign here to the left of each of the rules. That allows you to easily expand and view the contents of the rules. Again, in this case, we're looking at some very simplified rules that I've got defined, but you can imagine if there was 
uh, a good bit of rules and decisions. This could you know, be quite a complex listing, but it gives you a read-only view of those so that you can kind of take a look and see exactly what that rule is doing without having to switch back to the rule tab and, and locate the rule within that uh, window. Additionally, above we have a search filter and this takes keyword or this takes um, basically text uh, expression that you can search for. So for example, let's see, let's say I want to find all rules that reference uh, table view one. I can search for that. And in this case, it returns me the results that contain uh, of the rules that contain a reference to that particular control. Additionally, if I wanted to say, give me a search of anything that contains the word fill, then here you'll see we get two, uh, two rules returned and they contain references to the fill data sync function. So again, in a, in a more complex case, you could see that this could be a quite powerful um, option to be able to search for and find, you know, particular control, what, what might be, what rule might be affecting it or, or utilizing it, or maybe you're wanting to look for a particular function that's being used and see what uh, rules have references to that. So I think this is, this will give you a quick way to, uh, to, to find that. And, and then once you've honed in on that, you could go to the rules tab and, you know, query that a little bit more in depth. Um, this covers the report tab. Um, I hope you found this, this video to be beneficial. Uh, I suggest that you please take a look at our other AppForms training videos for more in-depth um, topics, as well as potential how-to videos to show you how you might want to implement certain functionalities within your AppForms solutions. Thank you.